These are some of uh, the VIPs that we lost in 2022 and I thought we shouldn't forget about them right here on The Buzz UG. Emmanuel Tumusime Mutebele was Governor Bank of Uganda. He died at the age of 72 in Nairobi Hospital, Kenya and uh, his death was due to diabetic related illness. At the time of his death, he had just started a new term of office for which he was appointed in 2021 by President Museveni. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Uh, the former Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, died at the age of 57 in Seattle. It's reported that he died of multiple organ failure of the heart, the lungs and uh, the kidney, though other unconfirmed reports in the public suggested that he was poisoned. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Jeno Eli Tumwine will also be remembered as one of the VIPs that passed on in 2022. He's mostly remembered for the statement he said that police is allowed to shoot you if you reach a certain level of violence and that was when he was still the minister of security. He died at the age of 68 years. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Jakana Naduli, the controversial political commentator, son of the former minister without portfolio, Haj Abdul Naduli, died recently at the age of 37 years. Many Ugandans, especially the youth on social media, were so heartbroken. I'm telling you, this guy will be remembered as someone who boldly criticized President Museveni's government without fear. It's reported that he succumbed to injuries after allegedly tortured by security officers in their torture chambers. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Our father Simon Lokodo also died in the past year, 2022. He was the Minister for Ethics and Integrity. He became controversially popular for challenging homosexuality and indecent dressing. He died at the age of 64 years in Geneva, Switzerland. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Dr. Paul Kawanga Semogerede also died last year at the age of 90 years at his home uh, that is after his health deteriorated. He was the president of the Democratic Party for 25 years and he was also a two-time presidential candidate having contested in 1980 election. He also contested again in 1996 and lost to President Museveni. May his soul continue to rest in peace. And finally from the entertainment industry, we lost a very big icon and that is DJ Alex Ndaula. He was a pioneer radio presenter on different radio stations but especially Capital Radio where he spent over 20 years in the business. He died of brain hemorrhage at Sambia Hospital at the age of 59 years. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Well, those are some of the big names we lost in 2022. Otherwise, we don't know how this year is going to end, but uh, we just hope for the best. That's it for now on The Buzz UG. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Oh, yeah,